Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to try something a little different for y'all. I know I usually do um, kind of get ready with me tutorials and I've had some people tell me, you know, they're a little bit too long, which that's okay with me. I like long videos. I want y'all to get to know me and once everyone's comfortable and once my channel has grown, I want to get to know y'all as well. But I wanted to try something a little different and today is going to be a voiceover. So this is the look that we're going to create in this video. Um, <clears throat> I did this with none other than the new ColourPop palette. This one is the I Think I Love You. It's got all the shades and the name listed here on the back. And are you ready for this? If you haven't seen it, this thing is gorgeous. Now it is a lot smaller than I expected. They are only like $16. So it's really not a bad size for the price. I just assumed it was going to be bigger. But these colors are gorgeous. Um, I used about four or five on my eyes today. And they do stay really well. And this is with no primer. Like I forgot to put my paint pot on. And halfway into my second color I realized I didn't have primer on. And check this out. Still good. No MAC Fix Plus on the shimmer. Nothing. So I just want to give you all some swatches of these shimmers before we dig in. And we're just going to take this color. It's right here. And then I want to swatch this one. And this one. Now these are three of my favorite colors and just because we can we're going to take this nice orangey color too. I have used it once and it is super pretty. Now these are a teeny bit chunky. They're not bad at all. It's the orange, kind of the copper color, the yellow, the almost champagne brown color and then here's your bone white shimmer and that's what I have in my brow bone and my inner corner and then I have that yellow on my lid and I have one of the dark brown glitters mixed in here which you're gonna see in just a second and to keep along with the ColourPop we used a couple extra ColourPop products um, at the end or kind of in the middle of my voiceover I do jump off camera to do all my face makeup so all you're gonna see here is just the eyeshadow and the lips so that's gonna be it for the voiceover I will put everything I have on in the description and I have worn this before so I can tell you that it wears very well throughout the day uh, time to switch over to voiceover mode Get ready. Okay guys, so jump into the voiceover. The first thing I'm going to do is dip into Rowdy. And that's going to be kind of my base shade. I'm just going to lay that down all over the lid and a little bit up into the crease. Then I'm going to go into Bel Air. Um, that is going to be my transition shade. It's going to go in my crease first. It's going to be blown out a little bit higher up because this is going to serve kind of as a base for everything that's to come. After I'm done with that, I'm going to dip into my top. This is going to be my primary crease shade. It's going to go a little lower down, but all over the crease just to give me that smoked out effect. Uh, this color is a really, really nice just chocolate brown, so it's absolutely perfect for this. Next, I'm going to dip into Howdy. This is a shimmer, which I don't normally do in my crease. But for this look, I wanted to be a little extra shiny. So it's just going to go on the inside of my crease. I'm not going to drag it out to the inner corner. Uh, this is going to give me kind of a different dimension than what I usually have with my smoky eyes. Now I'm going to be brave, and I'm going to dip into... Let's do it. I absolutely am terrified of black shadows, but I've been trying to branch out a little lately. 
Um, when you use a black shadow, always be sure to tap off the excess. This is going to keep you from ruining your look because if you get too much black shadow on and you just go after it, it's going to get everywhere. Now it's time for the lid and for this I'm using Rule Breaker. This is my favorite color. The minute I open this palette, that's just what I was drawn to and I use it very often. Um, this is actually without any kind of primer, any kind of fix plus, nothing. And then this next shimmer is called My Treat. <clears throat> That's going to go in my inner corners and my brow bones just to give me a little bit of a highlighted look and make sure that I'm popping. So I went off camera and did all my face makeup and now I'm back to finish off these eyes. Uh, first, I'm going to dip back into Bel Air for my lower lash line. And for this, you just need to take a blending brush or a pointed brush and just sweep it across the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back into my top and put a little bit less of that so that I don't end up with way too much because you don't want to get too much under there or you'll end up with some raccoon eyes, and that's never fun. So next... <clears throat> I dipped into Rule Breaker and I'm doing something a little different and putting that yellow color in the inner corner of my lower lash line just to add a little glitter. And sticking with the ColourPop theme, we're going to use this satin lip. This is Little Stitches. And I wanted to be sure to use some ColourPop products. I also use their eyeliner while off camera to do my waterline. So I wanted to be sure to get everything in there color pop that I could. And now it's time for the model poses. This is my first time trying these, so if I look a little dumb, apologies. Um, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you like this look. And if you like this format a little better, let me know and I'll try to do voiceovers more often. I hope you'll have a good day and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.